The oldest rivalry in college football had another chapter this weekend. We're back here on BTN Live, Glenn Howard and Mike. And the latest chapter was yet another Wisconsin win. We bring in the head coach of the Badgers, Gary Anderson, joining us from Madison. Okay, Gary, describe what it's like to hold that big axe for the first time after being a victor. Well, I didn't get my hands on it until back in the locker room when it was all uh, said and done. So I was one of the last guys to touch it. But it was great. It was, uh, I saw it leave the locker room. was obviously very hopeful that it would come back in the locker room. And uh, the kids had a great time celebrating. They got to take their pictures, and especially for the senior class. So they're going to they're gonna cherish that for a long time. And there's a lot of photo opportunities. So uh, I got a photo of it, though. Yeah, you did? Where are you going to put that photo? I'll probably put that one in my office. Yeah, it'll, it'll be there for, for me to be able to see. Or Stacy, Stacy might take that one and put it somewhere in the house also. We'll just have to see. Coach, when you took the job, you obviously have expectations in a place and where you want this team to be at, at a given time. Uh, where are they now, and have they met your expectations from the past? Well, I, I would say you know, my goal, my expectations and for this team at the beginning of the year was at the end to have the seniors walk out of here with their – head held high, the chest puffed out and saying, I'm proud to wear that motion W and then be prepared to move on in life. And they've done that. So they've definitely met my expectations. Uh, they can continue to move themselves forward to become a great football team. Uh, but this has been a tremendous crew to be around. You know, I'm lucky to be here with them every single day and I'm looking forward to three more hours in Camp Randall and then three more hours in the bowl game, wherever that may be as we move forward. But uh, I'll remember these young men for the rest of my life and, and we'll be there for them if they need something. And you'll also be able to remember the remarkable running backs you have. White and Gordon are, are just so great. You know, it's a broken record to ask you what makes them good. So let me try this instead. Can you tell during a game which one is about to get hot? Yeah, I really can't. And I've thought about that. And, you know, how do you play them? Where do you play them? And, and Thomas does a good job of, of putting those kids in those positions. Coach Hammock, our running back coach, and, and Coach Ludwig. But they, they can go at any moment. And I really believe that if you hit the crease in the right spot in the right moment, they're both going to get a big run out of it and make big plays. And uh, as much as they are the same, they still are very, very different in their styles. And I think that helps the offense move down the field. Hey, Coach, you probably don't know this about me, but besides being a college football coach, I used to be a college tennis coach. Oh, boy. Now, Are you sure? I, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't any good, but I, was a, I wasn't any good at football coaching either. But um, I know that you've uh, taught archery. You've taught bowling. Yeah. My question, as an athlete, what sport are you best in? Today, none <laughs> ever. Not 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 change. Not changing direction. That's my. That's the best. I'm best. Uh, you know, I would say in my back in the day, I was I was a, a respectable center. So football would definitely have been uh, the best. As, as a teacher, I have no. I'm, just, I'm going bowling though because I was a three step approach. You know, throw it, put the thumb in the air, and go with it. So I was old school bowling style too. Hey, Coach, I want to go back to, to your running game. And, and when your running backs have a great day, it's the running backs and the offensive line. When your quarterbacks and wide receivers have a great day, it's them. But how about the, the guy that's forgotten? And it's really the fullback, Watt. He's really, in my opinion, been playing outstanding lately. Derek has, has been unbelievable all year long. I believe he's got one carry, couple touchdown catches, and you know, they'll toss him a power pass every once in a while. They let him have it once a month. Uh, they got to let him have it more. I tell him all the time. He runs into practice, and I'm like, come on, Coach Ludd, give the kid a chance. All he does is produce. So I'm with you on that one 100%. Gary, some head coaches dance in the locker room after a win. Some wait and go home and have ice cream. How do you celebrate victories? Well, first of all, we get in there with the team, and uh, – you know, we, uh, we talk about it, and you never can underestimate a victory, and we're going to enjoy ourselves that evening. Myself, uh, let the team turn them loose, remind them to take care of themselves, do the right things, and then uh, I usually go home and just hang out there and, and watch more football. I know that's shocking news, but uh, that's pretty much what my nights exist of. Go watch football, uh, get up in the morning, hopefully the weather's good enough, walk the dogs around the block, and start again. So, you, you don't I'm do... pretty boring, man. I'm sorry. I don't have anything good for you. That's I mean, my deal. That's a really boring answer, Coach. There's nothing you do. You don't want a type of meal afterwards. You don't make sure to, you know, Mark D'Antonio of all the stoic people is dancing in the locker rooms. Now, there's nothing you do to let loose. 
Uh, no, not really. I, I, I'm not saying I'll never dance in the locker room. I'm not afraid to bust out a move every once in a while. But, uh, they'll probably laugh at me. I don't think it'll make video. Uh, but I really don't. No special meals. No, there's not much to it. Just kind of get home and relax. And hopefully some of the coaches come over. But, you know, I have so many coaches now that have family come in town. And so uh, we, we sit and just kind of hang out and relax. All right, well, we'll be planting a hidden camera now in the Wisconsin locker room for that moment when Gary Anderson dances. Coach, congratulations on the remarkable season there. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it very much. Go Badgers.